In Visual Studio on the Mac, we can create for Android as well as iOS and run our application and test it in an Android emulator. So here I have the default application running on an Android emulator, and I can click the Click Me button and it tells me how many times it clicked. At the top for our deployment, we can choose to de debug on various devices and emulators. Down at the bottom here is our Android emulator, and I have several set up, including a Samsung phone and tablet Kindles, emulating devices that I own. We can set up Android emulators to mirror any real devices, and we can also attach our own physical devices and test on those. Well, let's take a look at how to set up the emulators in Visual Studio. Now, a couple tips here. You may find it easier to also install Android Studio first, which was what we use for developing native Android apps with the Kotlin language. And if you have problems, I'd recommend doing that. We can go to the Tools menu in Visual Studio, and in the Android section here, you'll see the SDK Manager and the Device Manager. The SDK Manager allows us to install the different platforms that we want to test on. So you can see here, I have several already installed, and these go back to previous versions of Visual Studio as well as Android Studio. But if you don't have any of these, you want to select which versions you want to install. And so if you want to test for various operating systems on Android, you will need to install multiple ones. The most recent is uh, Platform 34. I'm going to go ahead and check that, and then I could choose to install. I'm going to go ahead and apply the changes, accept the license agreement, and it will go ahead and install that. Installing multiple platforms can take a while to do. I also have some updates available, and I'm going to recommend you see that. It's always good to make those updates. I'm not going to do that in the interest of time here. There's also a tool section over here. I want to make sure you have the Android SDK tools, the Android emulator, and the build tools and the platform tools installed. Again, you may want to update some of these, but if you have the most recent, you're probably good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and update that one. Again, we accept the changes and click OK. Now we're going to go back to the tools and go to the device manager. Here's where we create our different devices. Sometimes referred to as AVDs, Android Virtual Devices. So you can see I have some already set up. I can choose to play and start them here. I have two that are running right now. I can stop them. But I can also add a new device. So I'm going to do this Pixel 5 API 33. I'm going to add the word Maui here at the end so we can see it show up in our list. We can choose the base device we want to use. Lots of options there. The processor. We have both 64 and 32-bit. Uh, Intel x86 chip or an ARM chip. And then the operating system we want to use. And we can also make changes over here to customize that again to, to emulate any device. So maybe you have a device that um, the manufacturer is giving this a greater height, say maybe 2600, you could type that in. I'm just going to click Create. It's creating my new device, Pixel 5 API 33 Maui. And if I wanted, I could actually click the Play button, make sure that that works. And there then is my emulator running. I'm going to leave it there and come back to Visual Studio. I'm going to close the Android Device Manager. Let's take a look at what we have listed here. And there is my new device. I'm going to choose that as my option. And let's just test. Always when you're deploying, you want to watch the stuff down here at the bottom. You'll get messages. You can also look at the logs. But now it's deployed to my Pixel 5 Maui API 33 emulator. And again, it works just fine. If you have problems installing, certainly do a Google search on the errors you come up with. Um, one little thing to be aware of, 
I'm going to close this. Is that in your project, if you go down to the, the properties for the project, you have target devices here for Android and iOS, as well as Mac Catalyst. So here's where you can choose the target platform. So I'm look the target version. So I've got 33. If you have a different version than your emulator, this might be this might cause some problems. You may have to come in and change that. You can also select the minimal. What's the oldest devices you will allow? So in this case, API level 21 is the oldest that's coming up there. Click OK. And then let me also very quickly demonstrate in Android Studio how you can access the device manager and the SDK tools. And this is true on Windows as well. So in Android Studio, we have the device manager icon over here. I can click that. And that's where we can come in and create our different devices, just like we saw in Visual Studio. And then also under Tools, we can access the device manager as well as the SDK manager there as well. Any devices you set up in Android Studio will be available in Visual Studio as well. If you just jumped into this video, you can see all the videos from the .NET My Practicum playlist by clicking on the image in the lower right. And if you'd like to be alerted to future videos I create, you can click my picture in the top right to subscribe to the channel.